Our topic is uh, can't write checks or get a bank account. We're going to go and explore uh, what's uh, possibly limiting you from being able to uh, write checks and or open a bank account and how uh, the journey may start with one of these two companies, Check Systems or Telecheck. We're going to find out what is Check Systems and a company called Scan and uh, what's Telecheck and how these uh, check verification systems may possibly be credit bureaus. Uh, we're going to discuss a settlement by uh, Telecheck. We're going to uh, de delve into what is uh, Factor Law and how it entitles you to a free report. Um, what's Check 21? And if you have anything in Check Systems, do you pay, uh, I should say, a check verification company, do you pay the check verification company or the bank? And how we can help. So as we get started, let's uh, figure out who's Check Systems and Telecheck. Well, there's a company called Deluxe Corporation out in St. Paul, uh, Minnesota. Started in 1915 and now they're the, the world's largest blank check printer. And they provide a service that banks call Check Systems. Well, Check Systems is a database that keeps track of negative information regarding the handling of checking and savings accounts that are closed due to uh, excessive NSFs, which is non-sufficient funds activity, or what we know it better as bounce checks. Also covers ATM overdrafts and other types of misbehavior. Now SCAN, Deluxe also owns the Share Check Authorization Network that we call SCAN, used to verify uh, checks at over 77,000 retail locations. Nearly 3 billion transactions worth or uh, over 175 billion are processed by SCAN every year. Telecheck functions like check systems but owned by a company called First Data. Now you may be familiar with First Data. First Data does a lot of uh, merchant processing. So when you go into uh, a retail uh, establishment and you go to scan your, um, uh, swipe your credit card or your debit card, uh, it's a good chance that the First Data may be the entity that's back in that transaction. So for over 50 years, Telecheck has delivered check acceptance, check processing and risk analytic services to merchants and financial institutions. Let's take a look at the functions and the purpose of, the, of these uh, verification companies. Uh, scan and check system telechecks are consumer reporting agencies that collect, maintains, and reports consumer information related to check writing, transactions, and bank accounts. So that right there tells you that they are a consumer reporting agency. Check Systems and Scans uh, allows merchants to screen checks to make a decision to accept or decline a check. It guarantees to the merchant the full amount of a check approved through the system and offers merchants a warranty service option to handle the collection of return checks from consumers. Basically, they've got an entity that enables them to be a collection agency. Some banks and credit unions will utilize check systems when deciding to open a checking account. Financial institutions are vigorously working to minimize fraud and risk on all levels. Check system provides deposit account verification services to its financial institution members to aid them in identifying account applicants who may have a history of account mishandling. For example, people whose accounts are, are were overdrawn and then closed by them or by their bank. Check Systems is also licensed to do business as Check Systems Collection Agency providing debt collection services to members participating in this service. Um, is Check Systems a credit bureau? Check Systems and, uh, and SCAN as well as Telecheck are consumer reporting agencies governed by the Fair Credit Reporting Act and other laws. Check Systems Collection Agency and TRS Recovery Services which is Telecheck's collection agency or debt collectors subject to the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act and other laws. The uh, uh, Federal Trade Commission, or better known as the FTC, enforces the FCRA and the FDCPA. Let's touch a little bit on the, on the, on the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. That's um, actually the rules and, and regulations that are put in place for um, um, uh, debt collectors as well as consumers that are uh, facing an alleged uh, collection activity. Okay, so uh, uh, Check Systems Collection Agency as well as TRS 
recovery services have to abide by the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. Now, about a year ago, a little more than a year ago, year and a half ago, Telecheck um, paid out $3.5 million to, for Fair Credit Reporting Act violations. Let's read this a little bit. It says, Telecheck Systems, I'm sorry, Telecheck Services, one of the nation's largest check authorization services company, along with its associated debt collection entity, TRS Recovery Services, Inc., have agreed to pay $3.5 million to settle Federal Trade uh, Commission charges that they violated the, the Fair Credit Reporting Act. The penalty matches the second largest ever obtained by the FTC in an FCRA case. Earlier this year, another check authorization company called Certigy Check Services Inc. agreed to pay a $3.5 million fine to settle FTC allegations similar to those made against uh, uh, Telecheck. And you can pretty much go and pick this article up on the internet. Uh, this was um, a screenshot from the Federal Trade Commission's website, okay, but I'm pretty sure you can find the article and go into more details. So, you know, these guys uh, are, are, since they are um, uh, uh, credit reporting agencies, you know, they're entitled to, to some of the same violations as the major credit reporting agencies, you know, uh, they're not immune from that. So how uh, check systems work or how any check verification system work, U.S. banks and credit unions report incidents to uh, check systems to protect themselves and other banks in the future. You get reported to check systems if your account is closed for cause. So what is for cause? Banks differ uh, greatly between them as to what valid uh, reasons are for closing an account. So here are a couple examples. The bank was unable to collect for an overdraft, ATM transaction, or automatic payment, which they honored on insufficient funds. Regardless of the amount, and often without waiting more than a few days. Multiple overdrafts. Okay, so if you've got a serious history of, of overdrafts, you know, you could be facing your account getting closed down. That would apply to a savings account, debit card, or ATM abuse. Fraud is another item, okay, and uh, providing false information in opening an account. So if you open up a new account, your name is John Smith, but you decide to put uh, Jane Smith, which is your wife's um, social security number there, um, that could potentially be, uh, you know, something to reflect that account and, and cause the bank to close it. Each incident stays on your record with check system or any check verification system for five years from the date the incident was reported. You are entitled to see your, your uh, check system, your telecheck report once a year for free, uh, just like you are entitled to a free credit report from Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. And we'll go into a little detail to explain to you why you're entitled to that free report. Getting an incident reported to check system is the kiss of death for your financial future. Most banks now say our bank policy is that we will not open a checking account for you if you have one or more incidents reported to check systems, which is pretty scary. Uh, do bank uh, do banks open accounts and close them later? It seems more common among other banks than others. Uh, some banks have online applications that will approve immediately. Then the bank will wait until a signature signature card is sent in to actually look at the check systems report. At that point, they will send back the initial deposit and close the account. Now that's pretty serious. Then there are other banks that do sweeps on accounts. This is where a bank generally, the loss uh, prevention department, will do a random check on accounts with check systems. If they find that the customer has a check systems record, uh, they then will determine that person may be a risk and they will freeze the account and later close it. Fact the law. Fair and Accurate Credit Transactions Act is an amendment to the FCRA, which is the Fair Credit Reporting Act, that was added primarily to protect consumers from identity theft. The Fair and Accurate Credit Transaction Act of 2003 is a United States federal law passed by the United States uh, Congress on November 22, 2003, and signed by President George W. Bush on December 4, 2003, as an amendment to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. The Act allows consumers to request and obtain a free credit report uh, once every 12 months from each of the three major 
um, I'm sorry, each of the three nationwide consumer uh, credit reporting agencies, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. In, in cooperation with the FTC, the three major credit reporting agencies set up a website called annualcreditreport.com to provide free access to annual credit reports. Check systems and telechecks are consumer credit reporting agencies, so you're entitled to receive a free credit report from those entities based on factor regulations. Check 21 Act. The, the check clearing uh, for, tw for the 21st Century Act, or what we call Check 21 Act, is a United States federal law that was enabled on October 28, 2003 by the 108 U.S. Congress. The Check 21 Act took effect one year later on October 28, 2004. The law allows recipients of, of the original paper check to create a digital version of the original check, a process known as check truncation, into an electronic format called a substitute check thereby eliminating the need for uh, further handling of the physical document. Consumers are, are more most likely to see the effects of this act when they notice that certain checks or image of are no longer being returned to them with their monthly statement, even though other checks are still being returned. Another side effect of the law is that uh, it is now legal for anyone to use a computer scanner or mobile phone to capture images of checks and deposit them electronically, a process known as remote deposit. And you guys thought that it was just a, a nice feature that was in the app, the mobile app that's on your phone, that you could take a picture of your check and not have to make a trip down to the bank. No, 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 no. Check 21 enabled the banks to be able to uh, use that function. So you say, how can I see what's on my file? That's pretty easy. Um, because of uh, FACTA, you know, we're able to, or we're entitled to uh, get a, a free report from these check verification systems. Now, the two that we're going to focus on today are going to be check systems and telecheck. Okay, at this point, if you're on a webinar, there should be a box that have just popped up that, that will uh, prompt you to download the uh, order form to request your check systems report. If you're checking this out on the uh, uh, video after the webinar, you know, you'll see that, uh, especially from the YouTube page or whatever uh, viewing channel that we have it uh, streaming from, you know, there will be a link that will uh, take you to where you can, you know, obtain this order form for check systems. But with, with uh, check systems, what you're going to need to supply to them is a, uh, a daytime contact number, a copy of your driver's license, social security card. Now, they require a voided check. But I recommend that you you don't give them a voided check because that information you know might is personal, but it could also be used against you. And you're probably going to have to provide a copy of uh, a tax or utility bill reflecting your uh, current address. I would really just stick with the utility bill. You know, send them you know whatever your energy company is, your water company, your gas company, something like that. Now, as far as uh, uh, telecheck services. Here's the address, and more than likely you'll have to do a search and find out uh, on your website what they require. It just may just be a written request, could be an order form, might even be an online process. Uh, but this is uh, how you can uh, put a request into getting your uh, free credit, free not credit report, but free uh, check uh, report. Now, once you get this report, I would strongly, you know, encourage you to um, uh, forward a copy of it to me, and then give me a call ASAP when it comes in so that we can go in and we can review uh, uh, any, any items that may be on the report uh, together and create a strategy as far as, uh, you know, what would be best for you to uh, dispute them. Now, if you do en en encounter uh, an unpaid item on the report, you know, most time the question is going to be, do I pay the check verification system or do I pay the bank? Well, now, that depends. You know, if uh, if your report contains uh, a record of an outstanding debt, you know, and you received uh, some collection notices from either Check Systems Collection Agency or TRS Recovery Services, you know, we recommend that you dispute the debt. Okay, but now if you choose to go ahead and pay one of those entities, you know, then as far as Check Systems, you know, here's their address uh, out in uh, Woodbury, Minnesota. 
and if you and if it's a, a, a TRS or a telecheck recovery um, transaction then I'd recommend that um, if there's a, a notice that was sent to you to go with the address that's on the notice or do a Google search or go to uh, telecheck's website and you'll find the address for uh, where you can mail a, a check or a money order for payment there now if um, it happens to be with the bank or credit union directly you know then uh, make sure that you uh, get some things in writing and you um, uh, do a money order or check something you know other than cash I'm not even sure if they allow you to pay cash but I mean you need to have something that you can keep in your record so a check or a money order would be a great instrument All right, so how can how can we help? First of all, we're going to assist you as far as being able to order your um, your report in whichever system that you um, are are in. Okay, or maybe curious to find out if you have a a history with them. We'll show you how to obtain the reports. You've got a, a couple of addresses uh, and, and and a link to the order form. Um, so we'll start there. Now, once you get your report. You know, I want to go through it with you and look and see if you have any fraud items, okay? Because anything that's fraudulent, we have to uh, process it in a different way. But if it's not fraud related, okay, you know, then uh, you can do one of two uh, uh, steps. You can order our do-it-yourself kit, and uh, there should be a, a, a pop-up that just appeared, you know, that um, that you can, you know, purchase to do-it-yourself kit right now, and um, uh, um, which will take you through step by step on how to dispute any negative uh, information and accuracies of fraudulent items uh, as well as it will provide you a list of um, non-check systems or, or, or non-telecheck banks now you know we you know I'm not uh, an advocate of making your your minimums your maximum okay so I wouldn't say well hey you know just take the shortcut the, the road of uh, least resistance and uh, establish yourself an account with um, uh, a non-check systems type bank you know because that may not be the best thing for you you know recently I've encountered a, a you know a couple of uh, individuals that I know personally that have uh, you know gone to the bank and, and the bank has opened up um, second chance accounts for them you know and uh, they are not pleased with the uh, requirements of these second chance accounts you know most times if you can take in a deposit uh, a check into the bank and they will immediately make a hundred dollars available uh, to you you know at uh, at that point of, of deposit well on a second chance account you know that's not the case and it's taken a couple of days to uh, get a check to uh, to clear your account even though the funds may be good you know coming from the uh, sender so uh, it's not a plus plus for you and uh, some of the fees are kind of high some of the daily uh, limits uh, it's just you know it's not where I would recommend anybody to uh, to go so you know uh, do what you can and go ahead and jump on if you've got any issues with uh, with with, with uh, the check verification systems you know go ahead and, and, and order that report as soon as possible get it to me uh, let's take a look at it let's start uh, disputing um, uh, create a strategy to dispute the negative information and we can do it in one of two ways you can go with the do-it-yourself kit uh, there's a, a link on the screen, um, you know, that prompts you that you can get it for forty nine dollars, or you can, uh, if you if you're looking at this on the YouTube channel, you know, there should be a link that would prompt you to be able to get to do it yourself kit for forty nine dollars. Now, if by some chance you uh, decide that after you get it, it's a little overwhelming, and that you want to go ahead and hire us for a hundred dollars uh, more, you can go ahead and upgrade to um, uh, the ability to be able to hire us or if you just you know say well hey look starting out the gate look I don't want to do this I'll go ahead I'll put a request into, uh, for the report if I've got something on it you know I'll get it to you and I'll just go ahead and I'll, I'll hire you guys well that is going to be 149 to hire us okay so uh, if you have any any uh, uh, questions about anything definitely get in contact with us um, uh, here's a um, uh, uh, contact number my name is Charles you can reach me 404 437 5902 uh, hours of operation Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 7 30 p.m. and that is Eastern Standard Time on Friday it is 9 a.m. to uh, 6 p.m. once again Eastern Standard Time uh, feel free to email me at improve my credit at ymail.com once again that's improve my credit at the letter ymail.com uh, uh, company is Pro Debt Solutions um, 
leave this information up on the screen for just a second um, and then we'll go into uh, Q&A okay all right let's go ahead and go into Q&A uh, at this point um, if you're on a webinar feel free to uh, type into the chat box uh, whatever questions that you may have and we'll get them uh, addressed 